Hey there, I'm Jim Edgar, and I'm here to talk a little more about the PreSonus Revelator IO24. I did a longer video in which we talked about some of the details and some of the ways that it would be good for voiceover. And here I want to dig into a couple other features which I didn't have time for in the other video. So one of the things that I found pretty intriguing about the Revelator interface is that you can access a lot of the settings through the universal control software from PreSonus. When I open that up, it gives me a picture of everything that's attached to my computer, and we are looking at it here on my uh, Mac OS system. I click on that, and I have all the features and all the settings that I can change on the unit itself. So as I said before, when we change anything here, it is being changed on the device itself. Now, one of the things that I have is under the scenes settings, where I can bring up certain presets in terms of gain, in terms of what I've got the other channels set at, it basically will store all of the settings that we see in the mixer below, as well as any presets that we have saved to the unit itself. So in this case, I'm going to start my uh, session up by using the plus 35 uh, here. I'm going to recall it. Now, I will say it's a little minor gripe that it always confirms that I want to do this. It would be nice to have a little checkbox to say, yeah, I got this. So we'll go ahead and recall that scene. Uh, in this case, I just have channel number one activated. I've got 35 dB of gain. I have the phantom power on. I have reduced the input on channel two, so it's at zero. So even if I had anything coming into that, nothing would be coming into my recording software. So I click again on this little set of overlapping rectangles here that closes that. And I'm looking at the face of the unit. Now in this case, I have two presets. One is just a 75 Hertz high pass filter. Uh, the other is a 75 Hertz high pass filter with a de-esser engaged as well. I can obviously select one or the other of these two presets turn the dial here and choose another one to replace that as one of the two active presets in the unit itself. Now, if I do click on the save icon here, it gives me access to all six of the potential storage locations on the unit, as well as local presets that I've saved on my computer. So for example, um, with this one right here, which has no effects, I can actually right click on that or option click and I can show it in the finder and you'll see it sitting in the fat channel folder, in the revelator IO folder, in the presonus folder, in my documents folder. So it makes it very easy to kind of move it back and forth between two different computers without having to rewrite and restore everything. So I'm going to go ahead and load that over into this empty slot here. Uh, I've got a limiter set up. Whoops. Uh, I've got a limiter set up here. So I'm going to load that over with another 79 Hertz high pass filter. Uh, and I think that's good enough for right now. So let's go ahead and close that down. I have not changed either of the two onboard presets on the unit, but say, for example, if I select this high pass filter on the bottom with the de -esser, I can change that to one of the other presets that I have loaded in. In this case, I'm going to go down to, there we go, the limiter one. So now I've got a high pass and I've got a high pass with a limiter. So another way of controlling device actually is through my iPad. And in this case, I have downloaded the UC Surface application. You can see it right here. When I open that up, it again looks across my network to see what is connected to my computer. In this case, I've actually got the iPad wired into my computer for the recording of this video, but you can do this through Wi-Fi as well. In fact, for most people's booth setups, it probably makes more sense to have this connected via Wi-Fi than it would be to have it wired back into your computer. So again, I tap on that particular icon and I am looking at the same information that I'm looking at on the screen up to the left there. Now, what's interesting is that I can do all the same operations, but one thing it does lack is all those nifty scenes that I had, which are stored on my computer. What this means is that if I want to share things between my studio computer, between my Mac mini and my iPad, and I want to control my interface from both of those devices, I need to go through the process of uploading from one of the devices into the interface, 
and then downloading and storing that onto the other device. In this case, I would probably do most of my settings and scene development on the computer. So that's gonna be kind of my master source for all these uh, settings. In this case, on the computer, I've got six scenes set up. The one that I was using is this with 35 dB of gain on channel one with channel two muted. I also have loaded over some presets where I now have the 75 hertz high pass filter and the 79 hertz high pass filter with a limiter loaded into the two active channels on the interface itself. Going back to the scenes, what I'd like to do is store that to my iPad. So what I should be able to do is store this scene, give it a name that will be local to the iPad. We'll just call that basic one channel setup. And when I save that, it saves as basic one channel setup. Now, of course, the scenes on the left here on the uh, universal control that's running on my Mac mini, that has not added that scene there, which means that if I, for example, recall this, tap again the recall notice, it will show me that it has loaded in this new setup. Now, the mildly frustrating thing is that we have to go through this process. I did reach out to PreSonus to see if there was any way to move those files directly from Mac OS to iOS. And at this point, they are saying that those are not compatible, that you do have to go through this manual step to shift them from your iOS device to your Mac OS device. In this case, uh, for example, if I went back to a different setting, say I went to recall my all off setting, which I think is a really helpful setting, uh, that just shut everything down. And of course it did over here too. You'll see that everything is at zero with no, no gain and no voltage going to the microphones. But I would like to go ahead and store that to this particular device, in this case, my iPad. And I like that idea of everything being able to be turned off. So I'm going to keep the same name. I'm going to call it all off. And when I do that, I now have an all off scene that is stored both on my iPad and on my Mac OS device. So say for example, I go back to basic one channel setup. I recall that, I click past the annoying notification. It turns things back on and clearly I am back up and running. I have my presets where I want them and I can either turn that all off from here by recalling, clicking past the menu and turning it off or I can do that from the iPad as well. So at some point you'll have the duplication between the devices that it will be more seamless, but at this point you do have to kind of go through that upload, switch over, download to the iOS device in order to get all of your scenes and all of your appropriate presets but on both machines. So I hope that's been helpful in digging into remote control of your Revelator IO24 from PreSonus. In this case, I do like the fact that it does let me take my iPad into the booth and actually control directly from there. It's helpful, I think, for those people who might not have a second monitor or want to take their keyboard into the booth. The downside, of course, is we need to go through that little upload, download, uh, uh, switcheroo in terms of getting useful presets and useful scenes on all of your devices. But uh, so if you haven't done so already, I had a longer video that went through kind of the basics of operation on this. And I've got a few more planned in terms of a couple other features that uh, I'm going to dig a little more deeply into. So thanks for your time and attention today and hope to uh, work with you soon. Take care.